Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2, Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los, yes. and we are outside the gates of Molsentir, on our way to the sunken city. So, off camera, we came all the way out here from the Ice Troll Lodge, and we also grabbed some spirit essences off a fallen panther that we didn't get at the end of the last episode. So let's go on to the sunken city, and... Surprised that Baylor hasn't been on some yet. It's been way more than 40 rounds. Now, since we hardly have any craving, I wonder how much it's going to go down spirit energy wise. And yes, I only went down to 96, which is pretty good. But why is that Baylor still still here? Light. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just have him in the party for however. Long we'll have him in the party, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So here we are. Step with me. Come on. Looks like Follow there's somebody along. walking around over there. Fentomi. So let's go walk over there. This place was once a major Emiskari city. There may be lots of history here, assuming the hags haven't pillaged and defaced everything. We should look for a way to reach those intact buildings right off the shore. This place reeks of evil and rot. There is a city here. Perhaps beneath the ebb and flow of the waves. Perhaps the fall of night shall grant us a bridge. Though I fear what that will bring us, we will not be the only petitioners at this gate. You're right, you sound uneasy. Influence success. It is said one cannot go home again, but for me, this is the first time. I have walked to this place many times in my dreams. To be here, in the waking world, it is a little unsettling. Influence success. I am frightened, Captain Savajo the Wolf, and little else in the waking world has ever caused me such trepidation. But I shall persevere. Do not worry. By blade and spell, I shall back you. Do you know how to get in? I have only seen this place in dreams, so I am almost as much a stranger to its waters and its ingress as you. But something tells me that nightfall will come with its own clues. Then let's go ahead. Okay, the journal says you've arrived at a beach of Link Molsatir overlooking the drowned remains of an ancient Emiskari city. Search the area and discover a way to enter the sunken city. Okay, so we'll search around here, but I think the first thing we should do is talk to this guy over here. Looks like he's got a fishing pole set up. I could use a drink. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, stranger. If you've come for the fishing, you'll be sorely disappointed. Ha ha! I haven't come for the fishing. Just as well, you'll not catch any fish in these waters. They don't even come out until nighttime. Alright, let's do lore. Fentomi. That is no Rashemi name. It is derived from the language of genie kind, and it means false face, does it not? Influence game with Sophia. How did you know that? I would never have remembered. And our influence goes up to 100. Ah, uh, perhaps I should have chosen a cleverer name, but my little jest amused me. You are correct. This is not my true nature. I am, in truth, a Tao. I have no interest in deceiving you. When visiting more primitive worlds such as this, I typically adopt a form that will not alarm the in indigenous inhabitants. Why are you really here? Mistrust is a tool for survival, but it is not I who happened upon your secret fishing ground. Okay, so why are you here? Fishing is always good, even when the catching is bad. I come here every day from dawn till dusk. Why don't you fish at night? Far too dangerous. The last fisherman to own this gear wrote about it in his journal, which is still here. What happened to the last fisherman? Let's just say I caught him on my hook recently. His journal here describes his folly. Alright, so you're a fisherman who does not catch fish? Seems fishy to me. Influence success. For what do you fish, Ventomi? It is a strange fisherman who plies his trade at the Lake of Dreams. 
Perhaps the city is not the only thing cloaked in illusion in this place. Perhaps there is a, a greeter, a minder of the antechamber that welcomes petitioners such as we. Fatomi, is this true? Your minion is correct. This is not my true nature. I am, in truth, a Tao. Yeah, you just told us that. I have no interest in deceiving you. When visiting more... Yeah, we've already... Okay, farewell. I must go. This is not any place for the ignorant to linger after nightfalls. If you remain here, feel free to examine this fishing gear for anything relevant to what you are looking for. Farewell. I trust we will meet again in some form or another. Okay, I'm sure. So, he departs. Okay, so you spoke with Fentomi, who claimed to be a fisherman. He spoke cryptically, but seemed to imply that the sunken city can only be entered at nightfall. Alright, so... It says that we gotta wait till night, so... We're gonna do that, but first we're gonna explore around here a little bit. So we got a trapped chest. And upon examination, the DC is only 12, so yeah, we're gonna recover it. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, the DC for recovering that was less than our modifier. So let's get these 2,900 gold pieces, the dagger, and a couple gems. What's that, Sophia? Watch him closely. He's more than he appears to be. Okay. I think we got that from the conversation. So let's read this journal. This is the journal of a fisherman that has been left exposed to the elements. Most of the pages are either stuck together or the ink has smudged so badly that the fisherman's barely legible scribblings are completely unreadable. The last few pages of the journal remain mostly intact. Yep, yep, yep. This is, this the, is the place that, that drunk hack spawn told me about. about. Found, Found two, two bodies I saw was just walking along, along the shore. shore. And I'm about, I'm about to fish, fish another, another one out of the water. water. Don't, don't, know don't know which boat, boat these sailors, sailors drowned off in, and, and I don't care. They went to their watery graves with their pockets full of gold. Strange, Strange fellow that came out of nowhere out today, some bloke named Fentomi, took an interest, took an interest in my fishing, fishing and warned me not to stay here when it gets dark. Get dark. Crazy, Crazy talk. talk. But, but I chased, I chased him off with a few choice insults. insults. I was, I was here first, first, so I get so first get right to salvage. Waited here since morning and nothing, but then in the late afternoon a pair of rich bodies bobbed up. Maybe the light towards dust plays tricks on sailors and they crash into the ruins offshore. I never see the shipwrecks, but sometimes I can... If I listen closely, I can hear some ungodly screams. <laughs> Poor fool's crying out for mercy from Umberly when she's got none. New bodies washed ashore late this afternoon. They was loaded with valuables too. Some of them don't look much like sailors, but they're dead and loaded all the same. So they could be floating up from the hills for all I care. Another week of this and I could retire in a nice place far away. Maybe the Sword Coast. I hear Neverwinter's a nice place. Hiding behind a bush as I write this. Umberly have mercy. I should have listened to that man that told me and not stayed here past dusk. I just got carried away and didn't notice the time. Then some black swirling eye just appeared on the shore, and evil creatures from the hells came, started walking into it, and getting sucked inside. Dear gods, if I survive this night, I'll pack up my fishing gear and never return. And you can't talk to the sea monster, you can't even look at it. And these floating corpses, you can't do anything with them either. I wonder why we can't wait out into the water to see what's up. Are we too afraid of getting snagged by the sea monsters? I suppose so. I guess that's why we won't even get a boat or anything, or a raft. So let's check out the area. Here's a beached corpse, and we get these tools, gold, and gems, and then we get attacked by large water elementals. So let's try to get one of these down to near death. Yeah, let's attack this one. And then, near death, we will do a devour spirit on it. Alright, that should do it. Let's engage, and then we'll have our other party members attack the other elemental. Volatile spirit essence out of it. Now I wonder why that base hasn't been on something like this. It's kind of strange. That might be a bug, actually. Is it the first time that you do an epic gate that this yes. thing stays around forever? I clearly remember it saying that it only lasts 
40 rounds. Now that's a little bit less than seven minutes. Well now, what do you want? Oh, whatever. All right, let's check out this other corpse over here. And once you pass a threshold, then some Teltha rats and panthers start attacking you. And I guess we didn't pick up what was in there. Whoa! What happened to my inventory? What's going on here? Where's my stuff? Oh. Wait, wait a minute. Um, has this ever happened to anybody else? What exactly is going on here? This game is just so bugged, it's crazy. Um... Is this how we're gonna get all our stuff back? Just, what happened exactly? Okay, oh, and all our stuff came back again, okay. All of a sudden. Okay, so where's the stuff that we grabbed? I... Oh, we didn't grab it. Uh-huh, okay. So we get a stutter, studded leather armor plus four and almost 3,600 gold pieces. So let's take care of these Telter Spirits. And, of course, as soon as we get near it, they all want to attack the Captain Rush. They don't want any sneak attacks on him. Oh, it's got the fear, huh? Well, not for long. It's like some other spirit over there got the fear, and so did that one. Alright, so let's pick up these treasure bags while our other party members go deal with the strays. And we'll pick up these volatile essences, mostly water essences at that. We've got another one over here. And there is a mound over there we're going to check out in a minute. Yes. Let's have Kaylin run over here and grab this since she managed to chase one all the way over here and then kill it. And it's a water essence. Well now, what do you We're going to be want? seeing a lot of those in this area. So we got a fire beetle mound over here, and once you disturb it, a bunch of fire beetles come out. So we're going to just deal with them in the best way that we know, and that's killing them. Now I think Sophia can deal with them better than with a poison bolt. Because it really doesn't matter if those things get poisoned, they're just going to get killed right away. So let's put on the bolt of lightning, so she'll do a little bit extra elemental damage. <laughs> Okay, who cast Wall of Fire on Fire Beetle? That was kind of dumb. Was that the Baylor who did that? Yeah, that sounds like something he would do. Oh, so it was a Spirit Essence I was hiding in there, huh? Okay. Alright, so let's grab these Fire and Power Essences. And it looks like we already grabbed what was ever in that beetle mount. Easy as so they probably dragged a dead body in there and whatever was on that dead body, you know, just got buried in that mound. Well now, what do you want? Alright, let's give these essences all to Sophia and then we'll check out the stuff we got. Looks like we got Meteor Swarm, and the Captain can cast it now, and then we got these Boots of the Sun Soul plus 4. Gives a plus 4 dodge AC, and improves dex by 2. I might actually enchant those later with a strong constitution bonus. Because their AC that they're improving is better than the Boots that the Captain has right now. Alright, so we're going to have to rest to get to the next area, so let's choose wait here until dusk. And here we are. And it says one hour has passed. So that's pretty good. That means the spirit energy didn't drop that much. Looks like it only dropped about two points. And here's the portal, so we're going to go in it. A shadow portal looms here. Enter portal. Alright. 
Now, if you have real high craving when you come here, it could be really dangerous. So, just warning you. And we get 2,000 XP for doing that, for coming through. And now we are on the Shadow Plane once more. And here's Fentomi. Ah, you've made it here. I knew you didn't seem like the average beachcombing adventurer. Who are you? Do you recall the fisherman on the beach when you first arrived in Lakeshore? I am he. I find it strange that a Dao would waste his time fishing. If you know the Dao, then you are aware of our deep connection to the earth. Personally, I love plucking things from the water to the ground. Call me eccentric, but I consider this a small victory against the elemental plane of water. In any case, I could use the services as one such as you, who managed to find their way here without any help. I have a business proposal. Okay. Well, I'm listening. I run one of the largest gem mining operations in the Great Dismal Delve. But our daily yield has been reduced due to sabotage by one of my rivals. To recover my profits, I need a heavy lifter. A being of great strength and power, but easily controllable. There is a being that I can use beneath Kovea Kurganis. It is among the mightiest of the Earth Elementals bound to this plane. What do you need me to do? I simply need you to vanquish the Earth Elemental in the sky beneath Kovea Kurganis so that it will return to the Elemental Plane of Earth, where I have means to bind him to my service. In exchange for your services, I will provide you with a key that will open the entrance leading directly to the sky. And when you return, I will pay you your weight in gold. Huh, if it's so simple, why don't you do it yourself? Well, you see, though I am quite capable of wrangling an Earth Elemental, I feel it is a task left de delegated to others. What the genie isn't telling you is that the Tao are, by their terrestrial nature, terrified of water. They prefer to keep both feet firmly on solid land. I am more than happy to part with some of my ample fortune to spare myself the inconvenience. Give me some information first and I'll consider helping you. Certainly, though my knowledge of this place is limited since I have never crossed the dock to Kovea Kurganis. Okay... What do you know about the Skyne? I know little since I have never been inside Kovea Kurganis, much less beneath it. My Hagspawn contact who sold me the key offered few details, and he was taken away by the Hags before I had a chance to purchase more information from him. I know the Skyne does not exist in the Plane of Shadow. The key unlocks a portal. Also, I was told that the sky is partially flooded and therefore probably abandoned. Okay... Um... Why is there an Earth Elemental in the sky? I don't know what function it once served, but the ancient race of mortals that bound the Earth Elemental to this place are long dead. Okay... Tell me about Kovea Kurganis. Kovea Kurganis is the home of the Slumbering Coven, a group of overstated prophets who spout advice to the lesser creatures that you see milling about. They just stopped admitting audiences a short while ago for reasons unknown to me. If you wish to speak with them, there's a long line ahead of you. However, I can provide an alternative route to reach the Slumbering Coven, if you would care to hear my business proposal. Tell me about your business proposal. There is a being that I could use beneath Kovea Kurganis. It is among the mightiest of Earth Elementals bound to this plane. Yeah, we already asked that. You mean to make this creature your slave? Please, slavery is a distasteful descriptor, and not appropriate in this case. Is the weapon you wield a slave to you? Um, but a weapon is an inanimate object. Well, what about the oxen that hauled the materials used to create the weapon? Animals have feelings, too. Alright, consider the golems that stand guard over the Tower of the Wizard who enchanted your weapon. Are they slaves? I can't condone the use of golems. They are simply tools to be used by their owners in order to spare mortal labor. I am just looking for another tool myself. The Tower has a point. The golems lack the self-awareness to really be a slave. 
There is a being that I can use. Yeah, we already we already know that. Um, I'll destroy the Earth Elemental for you. Excellent. Here is the key to the Skine. You will find the entrance to the Skine on the western side of Kovea Kurganis building here in Nightshore. Just walk to the end of the dock and veer right. I want to know about you. You wish to know about me? That and my business are in fact my favorite subject. Although I will spare you many details, I am among the highest class of the Tao, roughly 3,000th in line to become the Great Khan. I live in the Great Dismal Delve in the Elemental Plane of Earth. What is the Great Dismal Delve? My apologies, I sometimes forget how far removed residents of Toril can be, even by prime standards. The Great Dismal Delve, also called the Great Maze Work, is an immense underground complex on the elemental plane of Earth. It is roughly two-thirds the size of Faerun, and is inhabited by the greatest of the Tao, myself included. So if you're a genie, do you grant wishes? How quaint. I suppose it would depend on the wish. If you wish to enter Kovea Kurganis, and you'll agree to my business proposal, then I can grant that wish. I want to know something else. Do you wish me to repeat something? How do I find the entrance to the Skyne? You will find the entrance to the Skyne on the western side of Kovea Kurganis building here in, in Nightshore. Just walk to the end of the dock and veer right. Yeah, we already know that. Farewell. Return to me once you slain the Earth Elemental in the Skyne. Do not fail me and you'll be handsomely rewarded. Alright, so let's go check out this thing over here. What is this? This creature has a vaguely humanoid form. It stands 18 inches tall and has wings spanning about 2 feet. Skin looks rough and warty and it has a mouthful of needle-like teeth. And he's the servant of Count Crowsroost. Back! Back! Step away from Count Crowroost, filthy mortal! Who is Count Crowroost? You truly do not know? Then it is best that you remain ignorant. For your own sake, back away from the Count. Count Crowroost is in the coffin? This is no mere coffin, mortal. It was carved out of solid ashenwood pine from a tree containing the essence of a genius loci. It was enchanted by the Count himself and is quite impenetrable. And its lock can only be opened from within the coffin. I think Kaji could open this lock. His tiny hands can reach where human hands can't. Pfft, that lock? Easy! I could sp sp spring that lock with my head stuck in a vise. Don't actually stick my head in a vise, please. Thanks. What? You still legal here? Like stink over a bog. Be gone! Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? I need not do anything. Your lowly presence will disturb the Count's slumber and he will awaken angry and thirsty for your blood. Show some respect or we'll have to teach you a lesson. Try to harm me all you wish. My bond with the Count makes me indestructible. Farewell. I warn you already to stay away from Count Krobus. Ignore me at your peril, insect. Galen, let's toss this coffin through the portal. This coffin is not so heavy. Our combined strength could heft it through the portal to Lakeshore, I think. Great idea, Kaylin. Let's carry this coffin to the portal. Influence gained with Kaylin. This fiend is in for a surprise when it awakens, especially if it is daytime on the other side of the portal. What are you doing? No, stop! Get away! Alright, so now it's gonna transfer us back to the lake shore and the material plane. And now we can have the option of opening up the coffin, but since it is just starting out to be nighttime, we would have to rest all the way until morning before we were to open it. Now we could open it now, and then the Count would come out and fight us, but we would get more XP if we opened it while it was daylight, because then you would just catch on fire. Although, if you fought him, then you would get his weapon, which you could sell. But I'd rather take the extra experience points. Okay, this is Omaga. This Ogre Mage is more diminutive than most you've seen. Kind of like Bellu the or Ogre Mage. You! You must come here, now! What do you want? I see that weak 
gear you're wearing, for even stepping outside your home so poorly equipped. You must either be very brave or very stupid. Are you calling me stupid? Don't get upset. I will assume you are just brave, not stupid, but bravery can only take you so far. To go all the way, you must outfit yourself in Omaga's fine armor. Still the sales pitch, what are you selling? So glad you asked. Have a look at my goods. I'll even give you some gold for the trash you are equipped with now. Alright, so let's check out some of the stuff that he has. What's this, gauntlets of crushing? Oh, okay, so that's for a monk. Gives extra fist damage. We don't need that. Emiscari brac Bracers of Immortality. Proves constitution by 8 points. Oh, regeneration plus 2, yeah, but... We'd have to de-equip one of these other bracers that we have on one of our characters, and... The bracers we have are just better. Shield of the Magi. Now, that's pretty good, but I think only Kaylin can use that. And I think... The shield she has, the Witch Blast, is actually kind of better. Plus, it's really expensive. The Knot Katana is pretty good, and I would buy that if I had the money, but that's... Like, half a million gold pieces. I don't have that kind of money. And I don't think I have enough stuff to sell to... Even come close to that. Alright, so we got some spells here. Yes. Oh crap. Okay, let's talk to him again. Are you still wearing that weak gear? Quickly, buy something better for me before someone pushes a spear through it. Do you think insulting your customers is good for business? Hmm. Anyone who does business with me must have thick skin, or they'll end up stabbed to death. Okay, uh... Let me see your goods. Okay, let's check out the spells Come for this Sophia. Now, I know she doesn't have Enervation, that's a level 4 spell, and that's the one level that she's lowest on, so... Let's buy it, scribe it. Okay, there we go. I actually was thinking about picking it at an earlier level. Good thing I didn't. Mass hold person. Eh, we already have that one. I guess it wouldn't do us any good to buy it. Now we got mind blank. Yeah, we got more than kind of sword, of course. Remove curse. Oh, that's a level four spell too. I know we don't have this one. All right, let's buy it and scribe it. All right. Added that, and she can't use the last two. Well, what now, about the captain? What do you want? Well, it looks like he has a chance of casting every single one of these spells. Maybe we should just buy all the good ones. Let's buy this one, just in case we might need it. Maybe the next time we're in a big battle, maybe I should go through some of my scrolls and pick a good one. Let's see, should I buy Mordenkainen's sword? Okay, what do we have here? Periapt of Wisdom plus six. Well, that would be actually pretty good for Gan, even though it is kind of expensive at 37,000. 37,500 more like. Yeah, I think we probably should. Oh, we don't have enough money. Okay. Let's see if we can sell anything here. Belt of Guiding Light. Yeah, let's sell that one. Not gonna need that. Uh, what about the spear that we're never gonna use? 17,000. Okay, well, that just put us over, so let's buy it. And we'll equip it on Gan, and... That one's selling for 6,000, so I guess we'll just sell that. We're never gonna use it again. And if you somehow I convince so. this Ogre Mage to fight, then you will get the Shield of the Magi off its body when you defeat it. Alright, so let's sell some more of this stuff that we're not going to use. And, well... Yeah, let's sell these gems here. We're not going to use them. Not going to need them for anything, and... Sure as hell aren't going to need to buy them back later, because they're not used in any sort of crafting. There we go. And then I guess we'll sell this studded leather armor that we just got. And I guess that's about it. Okay. So, I guess in the next episode, we will try to get into Kovea Kurganis. 
will we be able to talk to the Slumbering Coven? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And Tango Umbandia.